Hey team, welcome to Monday Night Live. My name is April Resch. I'm an Emerald Ambassador with Puxis Worldwide. And tonight I am so excited to top, talk about a topic that everyone needs to know about. And that is developing silvers, getting duplication going on your team. And this is not just important for us people who have been around the block, but it's really important for newbies too. So I'm speaking to every single one of y'all tonight. So the first thing I want to share is realistic expectations. Okay, you guys, I got a new phone and I cannot work it. <laughs> okay, I'm not touching my phone. All right, so realistic expectations. When it comes to silvers, if you got 10 joins last month, we want at least one person going silver. So that's about a 10% rate. There's some ladies on our team right now who are totally on fire. Um, one person who comes to mind is Terry. We all see Terry, she's duplicating, she's doing amazing. There's others out there too. Um, but if you're having like a 30% silver rate, you are gonna quickly go to Jewel and to, to be a diamond. Um, so we need to be developing silvers. Also, when you start sharing about the products, Yes, we want to share about what they're gonna do for them, but during that time, during the recruiting process, we also wanna make sure we're sprinkling in some seeds. So rarely will I ever get a cost objection. And the reason being is I really am making sure that these products are gonna be valuable to them. What is it gonna help them with? But then along the way, I'm also sharing little bits and pieces about the biz. So I'll say something like, hey, I just wanted to let you know something awesome that Plexus is doing this month. If you had just three accountability partners join you this month, and I'll give them an idea, like your mom, your sister, your bestie, like get their wheels turning, and I'll say you can make this much money. Does that excite you? And usually people will say yes. So just getting their wheels turning during the recruiting process is a really good idea. It doesn't have to be something where you're like, okay, she is good to go on the products. Let's now transition to the opportunity. It really should be sprinkled in throughout because then you're not gonna get a cost objection. They're gonna automatically know, well, I don't have to budget for my products. I can help you know, my mom, my sister, my aunt, whoever. Um, so you want to make sure you're sprinkling in those seeds. And then also, you can share with them that if they have biz potential, you can call that out right away during the recruiting process again so you can say something like hey jenna i know we've been chatting back and forth about the products and how they're going to help you with xyz i had to share something though that also might be a great fit for you and then go ahead and call out what you're seeing you know in them um, are they really good at social media do they have a great following um, do they have friends who really trust them i mean that's all it takes to get started and so then i'll share again I'm just curious, would $700 extra cash bless you and your family? Um, you know, get their wheels turning. So how to develop silvers once they actually get signed up. First of all, the first step, and please don't miss this y'all, uh, because it is so, so important. Get your joins into the team page. Every single join should be in the team page. If they have Facebook, they should be in the team page. It doesn't matter if they don't wanna share the products. Um, I think about Christina. She didn't wanna share the products for a year, but you better bet you that Brittany added her to the team page and she saw the excitement, she saw the buzz, she saw the, the caliber of the women in the team page. So if you're skipping this step, please go back and add all of your people into the team page. Um, also, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just get them on the phone with your sponsor. Get them connected, get them excited. These are the first steps for really developing silvers. So what you'll do is you'll just capitalize on the excitement. They've joined your team, now 24 to 48 hours after they've joined, get them on the phone. And then basically what your sponsor is gonna do is they're gonna cast the vision for you. So they are going to basically, and I've had a few girls ask me today, Shout out to Chris and Jill, who are working so hard over there. Um, they had some really good questions today. And so they asked if I would go ahead and kind of share 
what do I say on a three-way call? What do I say on a welcome call? So basically I will start out and I will first, I will ask, like, say I am connecting with one of Rachel's girls. I will go to Rachel and I'll say, hey, can you tell me a bit about Amber? What do I need to know for this welcome call? So I kind of go behind the scenes and then I'm figuring out how can I draw the line between myself and herself? I don't want it to be this awkward, like, hey, thanks for jumping on the phone. So usually I'll just start out the call and I will say something like, well, first of all, Rachel will quickly introduce, and then from there, she mutes herself, and she just sits back, and I do the work. So I will say something like, oh my goodness, thank you, Judy, so much for jumping on the phone tonight. Um, I know you have a million things that you could be doing, but first, I wanted to share with you, I'm also a boy mom. Like, how fun is that? How many boys do you have? You know, <laughs> something just to quickly connect. And then from there, I'm going to lay out expectations of the call. Okay, y'all, now your welcome calls should be about 15 minutes to 20 minutes max. We don't want these 45 minute welcome calls. So keep that in mind. And I'll just say, okay, Judy, so what to expect with this call is I'm just gonna briefly share my story and then I'm gonna go ahead and answer any questions you have and get you started. Does that sound okay? Get their buy-in. By getting their buy-in, they're gonna be more invested in the call. So once you get their buy-in, go ahead and share your story. Now, I'm not going to share my whole story tonight, but make it brief two to three minutes. You guys, if you are doing an eight-minute story, by that time, they've put you on speakerphone and they probably have walked away and you're talking to their walls. So really be brief, brief story. And then from there, this is where you engage them. You don't want to just be doing all the talking. So you'll say something like, I'm curious to know, Judy, tell me what piqued your interest with Plexus. And then listen to them, give them a time to speak, and then go ahead and validate. Share with them, oh my goodness, yes, Plexus is gonna help with X, Y, Z. And then from there, I'm going into um, talking about consistency on their products. And I get a lot of women who laugh when I say, please don't let your product sit in the box or in your purse or on your counter. Um, I make sure that they're set up to know you have to take these consistently. And then I'll ask them right out, are you a water drinker? And we'll discuss water drinking. So that's the majority of my welcome calls. And then I do sprinkle business seeds. Um, I'll share, I'll say something like, and I wrote this down, I'll say, um, I'm not sure if Rachel shared with you about the quick cash options that are available for you just for signing up wholesale. But basically, if you had a few friends that, um, jump in with you just to be your accountability partner to do this with you um, You can make close to $700 cash. Is this something that excites you? I find that the word excites really works well in this situation Because every single person I know is excited about $700 cash. Are they interested? Maybe not so use the word Excited are you excited about this? Does this excite you? Um, and then from there, I'll just continue to cast the vision, depending on how warm they are. Now, y'all, if they've had very strong objections, I'm going to speak to those objections, but maybe I'm not necessarily going to go as far as I would with someone who says, oh, yeah, I've thought about using social media. Um, and at this point, if I'm on a call with someone who Rachel has said, girl, like she has huge biz potential, I'm stalking their page. And I will literally say it during the call, I'll say, girl, I just stalked your page. Like, I see that you have integrity, that you're a Jesus lover. I see that you love your family. I see that you have a drive. Like, you need to be doing this with us. And I will be very, very bold. Um, and then I just cast that vision. You know, I'll ask questions like, um, if your bank account were empty and your calendar were full, what would your life look like? So just really letting them know Plexus can help. Plexus will help. Um, and then from there, letting them know, you know, it's capless. I'll share my story about being a speech therapist, being overworked and tired. And then I'll share, you know, I never would have thought I could be a six figure income earner um, with less than two years under my belt. So just casting that vision um, to be very real for them. So that's basically my welcome calls. Um, and then from there, I will just determine, you know, what is the next step for them, depending on what they said. And so 
from there, if they aren't inspired y'all, then there's different things you can do to inspire your people. Typically a welcome call really inspires people. Something inspires them. Is it helping people? Is it um, the money? Is it traveling? There's just different things. So from there, if your friend isn't already excited, maybe send them a diamond doc. Maybe send them the opportunity video that I created. Maybe send them the ripple effect video. I mean, there's so many different things, but it has to be personal. You can't just be shooting out this random message, like make it personalized. And then from there, when they're inspired, this is the best time. This is when you can play fetch. You literally toss the ball to them and match their pace, okay? And this is the time to take action. They've told you, yes, they're open to it, so go ahead and get them going. So first of all, maybe have them watch some sort of opportunity video, like I said. Um, it's not necessarily needed, though, if they've told you, like, I'm ready to get started. They're inspired. So for people that aren't necessarily inspired, um, I will say something like maybe they're loving their products. Maybe they've been with me for a couple of years. I do this all the time, y'all, to get people silver without telling them. It's a bit sneaky, um, and it works, and it's very simple. So you'll say something like, hey, Stephanie, I'm so happy you are loving your products. I'm curious, will you do me a huge favor? Would you, if I sent you just a short template um, and maybe a couple of pink drink pictures that you can choose from, would you just throw up a post for me? Or you could even put up a selfie with your pink drink if you want to. But would you put up a post for me? And majority of times, people will say yes, because people want to do favors for you. Um, so what happens then is basically their friends start saying, what are you up to? They start liking their posts. And what happens is we end up connecting with their people and getting them accidentally silver. And by that time, they're like, holy cow, I just made how much and how many days? How is that possible? So ask people to do your favors. Do favors, it's okay to ask. Um, the worst they can say is no thanks, and that's okay. And then also at that time, say they've had two joins. Then I will go ahead and say, oh my goodness, Lisa, you're at $80. Like you just made $80 just by connecting your people with me. Um, curious to know, can we go ahead and share with a few others who else needs Plexus? And then I will share with them, you know, everyone needs Plexus, especially right now. It's like moms are dragging. Um, it's almost bikini season. And so everybody needs Plexus. So I'll get their wheels turning and then I'll remind them you can make over $300 this month. Let's keep helping people. Just keep them excited. Um, and then also give them realistic expectations. Let them know 10 to 20% of people are gonna to respond to you and that's normal. They're not ignoring you, they're just very busy. I actually had someone say this week because she kept on sending me the thumbs up symbol <laughs> and I never can judge that symbol so I don't really use it often. But finally I said to her, I said, hey, I'm just curious, I know you keep giving me the thumbs up symbol, can I share a bit more? And she said to me, she said, oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. She's like, my son grabs my phone, my younger son, and he plays games on it. And he must have went on my messenger. And like, he always gives thumbs up signs. She looked back and there was like a ton of random messages he had opened and gave thumbs up signs to. So anyways, she was very kind. And she's like, yeah, like share with me a bit more. So you just never know, like, you know, what people are going to say, but basically give people realistic expectations, um, what to expect, sending out that message, let them know, make a list of 25 to 30 people that really trust you, um, would want to just jump in with you, be your accountability partner, and then check in with your people who are going silver. Check in with them every single day. There should not be a day when you're not communicating with them. Does it have to be just plexus? No, um, but you do want to just be there for them. You can ask good questions. You can ask them like, hey, how's it going with that template? What kind of responses are you getting? How many messages were you able to get out? Um, what response rate were you getting? What are you the most excited about? So there's a whole bunch of questions. You can also ask them the question, 
what feels a little bit difficult to you. And from there, you can understand maybe they're not taking action. Typically, y'all, when people are not taking action, it's one of these reasons. Um, it's typically, it could be a belief issue where maybe it's a belief issue with the products. Maybe it's a belief issue in themselves. Maybe it's a belief issue in the industry or the opportunity. Maybe something said, or someone said something rude to them. Y'all, there's rude people out there. And I remember back at the beginning, if I would get a rude message, that really threw me off. So just open up the communication with them. Maybe it's not the right timing for them. Maybe, here's a kicker, y'all. Maybe they don't want to put in the effort or the work. This is not a lottery ticket. So it's going to take 50-50. It's going to take 50% you casting the vision, you communicating with them, encouraging them, inspiring them. And then 50% is them being coachable and doing the work. Okay? It's not all about you. Um, they have to have some skin in the game too. Please do not drag people, beg them lead, convince them. You guys just really watch their feet and their mouth. Um, and if you're hearing a lot of excuses like, girl, I'm so sorry, we had a busy weekend. Or, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I meant to do it. A lot of times there's just something else going on. Um, because we all know we have 24 hours in a day. And if it is a priority, people will make it a priority. Um, so keep that in mind. If they are taking action, you're gonna basically spoon feed them until silver. So that means you're in three-way chats with their people. You are having them send you screenshots. You're tweaking messages for them. You're doing follow-ups with them. You are literally holding your hand or holding their hand. Um, you are encouraging that person, showing them the ropes and you're celebrating them along the way. Um, and show them how quickly they can build income. Also, remind them of their why. Um, help them develop it. Get on the phone. Share with them what this could look like for them. Uh, share the potential you see in them. Say it out loud. It really helps to say that many times. It really helps with their belief as well in their self. Um, share what would this do for your family. I also love asking the question if we fast forwarded five years from today, and life were the exact same thing as it is right now, would you be okay with that? Or what are some areas you would like to change? And again, validate how Plexus is going to do that for them. And then also figure, continue to figure out their pain points. And you guys, if you're having someone who maybe you think they told you, you know, I wanna go silver, I want the cash, but they're just maybe not doing it, I will literally say, hey, Haley, I know we talked about, you know, finding three accountability partners. I'm here to help and support you, but I'm wondering, have your goals changed or um, have they stayed the same? I'm just curious if something has changed. Um, it's okay to pinpoint um, because you want to make sure that you're spending time with the people who deserve it, um, not the people that are necessarily asking for it. And quick success is going to be the key. Um, and you guys, if you see something that needs to be tweaked, remember, you are the expert. The person who wants to go silver, they're relying on you to be the expert. So let's say, for example, someone is just puking plexus. Do you as a sponsor continue to let them do that? No, because they are relying on you to help them get to silver. So you can say something like, and sandwich it sandwich it with love y'all. I'm sure they're doing something or many things that they're doing really good at. So you can say, I love the templates you're sending out. But if I saw something that maybe I thought was holding you back from going silver, could I share it with you? And then you'll just say it with love. Hey girl, all the successful women who or men who are really going quickly and building a team right off the bat, um, this is what they're doing when it comes to social media, or um, I'm going to go ahead and tag you in this branding video. So it is okay to call people out. We're not necessarily trying to be rude or to pinpoint things. What we want is for them to be successful. So keep that in mind that you are the expert. If you don't feel like the expert, y'all, or you're just starting out, your sponsor is that expert. 
but there's also thousands of trading videos out there. So if you're not comfortable with something, do your personal growth, watch the training videos, and you will become the expert. Okay, so why do we even want silvers? What's the big deal? Well, first of all, they're gonna stick around longer on their products because they're gonna be feeling great. Um, they're gonna be taking them consistently. They are gonna fall in love with the culture of the team, just like I have. Um, they're gonna be excited about sharing because they're gonna continue to learn things about the products and how amazing they are. Um, it's also gonna have, it's gonna create massive momentum on your team. Here's the reason why. Think about it. Why do you think when people first come in and they go silver and then their friends go silver, why is it such a ripple effect? It's because they're all in their very warm markets. Um, so it's very important to help create silvers. And it's so much more fun with friends. Um, I've had some girls who have recently went from silver to gold and senior gold. And they're like, this is so much fun having a team, having friends, having supporters, cheerleaders. Um, so it really is a ton of fun with your friends. And then here's a kicker. I want you all to really think about this because this is the application part of the call. Are you producing silvers? I'm talking to each one of y'all. Um, if you've just literally joined us, you're going to be producing silvers, but are you producing silvers? So first of all, if you aren't, I don't want you to say it's because of my upline, it's because of my network, it's because people aren't quote unquote ready, okay? All of those are excuses, and I'm gonna share a bit more of what you can be doing if you're not producing silvers. So again, if you had 10 joins last month, we want at least a 10% silver production rate, probably more than that, especially with the incentive going on right now, the, the stimulus, it probably should be about 30%. So keep that number in mind. But if you are striving for silvers every single month, over and over and over, you're gonna see crazy momentum on your team. So here are the top 10 things, and I'm gonna try to talk slowly because I want y'all to write these down. Or maybe write down the things you're not doing so you know exactly what you need to do. But there's gonna be 10 things that you need to do in order to produce silvers. And they're really not that difficult. So the first one is, like I talked about, planting opportunity seeds during the recruitment process. Are you doing that? So I'll give you a moment to write that down. Are you planting? opportunity seeds during the recruitment process. Okay, the next one is, are you adding your people to the team page? There's a reason why we have a team page. It's not just for all of us, it's for everyone else to enjoy. So are you getting your people in the team page? Okay, the next one is, are you connecting them with your sponsor? So is it a three-way chat? Is it a phone call? Are you connecting your people with your sponsor? That is so important, okay? Are you allowing your sponsor to cast that vision with them? Or are you feeling like you need to be the only person that they're hearing from? It's really good to have third-party validation, to have that other perspective. So um, giving your upline just not necessarily the authority, but giving your upline influence with your joins can really, really help. I know it's always nice to get another perspective, okay? Um, next, are you connecting with them and figuring out what this opportunity can do for them? So it really does take connecting with them on a personal level, okay? So connect with your people. Are you speaking their color language to inspire them? People will not take action until they're inspired. So if you're not sure what the heck our color language is, um, there's a book called The Four Color Personalities by Tom Big Al Schreider. That is a great, great read. It's a very short read, very easy to apply. Um, but really in order to inspire people, we need to know what inspires them. Um, if someone were to talk ingredients to me, I'd probably be out of here. <laughs> I don't necessarily care about ingredients, 
But if I'm to hear the word money or contest or travel or social, that all excites me. So talk their color language. All right, the next one. Are you watching training videos of how to develop silvers? Training videos. There's so many out there. There's a good one by Brooke Hemingway and Emily, Emily Gibson. So you must be watching training videos. You can't expect your upline to do the work forever. Okay. There's a time where, yes, they'll spoon feed, but then they're going to let you fly. They're going to let you, like Christine always says, fail forward. Um, so make sure you're watching training videos. The next one is Are you being bold? Are you getting outside your comfort zone? Are you ripping off the bandit, that security blanket? Are you being bold? That's the next one. Okay, a couple left. This one is one of my favorites. Do you have, do you personally have consistent recruits coming in? If you are not going silver yourself every single month, or if you're not having at least three joins a month, who are you going to cast vision to? Who are you going to help go silver? Who are you going to help to love your, their products? So you personally must be recruiting. Don't depend on your team to do that. You need to be recruiting yourself. Okay? The almost last one. Actually, this is the last one. You ready? Are you sharing proper expectations with people when they're saying they want to go silver? Are you letting them know, hey, this is what to expect? Um, otherwise, they're gonna feel like they failed. They're gonna feel like, okay, I just sent 30 messages and three people got back to me, like what is going on? So make sure that you're sharing proper expectations with them and you're matching their pace. Do not match April's pace or Michelle's pace or um, Gia's pace. Like we need to be matching their pace and it's okay. They can go as slow as they want or as fast as they want. This is, you know, it's their business. So if you said yes to all of the above, then first of all, you're a rock star. Second of all, you should probably have more than a 10% um, silver rate, silver development. Um, you also should probably have duplication going on like crazy. Now, if you said no to any of them, the good thing is, you know exactly where to start. You can look at that checklist, or if you didn't get them written down, you can replay this video. You know exactly where to start, and you can very quickly start producing silvers. So there's no excuses, there's no complaining, um, there's no things like if I had her upline, or I just don't have the time, or I don't have the right people I'm recruiting. Y'all, those are all lies. Those are lies that are swimming in your head. It's between your ears. If you turn that to positivity and you do those 10 steps I just shared with you with every single person, um, you literally will be swimming in silvers. And the fun thing is you will be duplicating like crazy that you'll be going several level, levels deep. I had someone on my team today who messaged me and she was like, oh my goodness, I opened up my virtual office this morning and I saw a level four join. And the fun thing is April, I didn't even help this person get the join, like it's happening. So know that if you are doing those 10 steps, you're gonna have silvers and several levels deep. So the momentum really does, it begins with you. Um, your team will do 50% of what they see you doing. So this includes recruiting. Um, this re includes your social media and branding, your retention, your duplication. You need to be visible. If you're sitting on this call and you're saying, I want to be a leader, I'm telling you how to be a leader. Be visible. Start showing up. Start commenting. I see so many of y'all commenting tonight. That's a leader. Whoever's commenting, you're a natural leader. So start showing up for the team. Um, another plug that I wanted to put in that I was going to say earlier and I forgot. Um, when it comes to boosting each other's posts, and especially y'all hear me out, when there's someone who has a first post and they're asking for you to boost it, please boost it. The reason being is if you just help that person like to kind of up their belief and inspire them and get them to post it, 
and they're like kind of nervous, they're kind of excited, and they put that post up and not one person comments on it, they're gonna feel like, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Should I delete the post? So if we can all work as a team and help each other out, um, there's so many of us that it, it that, you know, not everyone will have to boost every post. But if we all work hard as a team to boost, to love on others, to show like, holy cow, what is going on with this team? Like, they're all, they're just all on fire. They're all excited. Um, it's really gonna, it's gonna be good for, for everyone. Um, so I wanted to put that plug in tonight, but I'm off my soapbox. All right. Um, Oh, I was gonna say, with recruiting, please don't recruit yourself to the next rank. Um, as you continue to go up the ranks, um, you're not gonna be able to recruit yourself because there's certain points that have to be outside of your strongest leg. Um, so it's way more fun when you're doing it with friends. If you recruit yourself to gold or um, whatever it is, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna reach burnout. So go ahead and start duplicating now. Um, and many of y'all, in a year from now, you'll be jewels. We'll have some diamonds. So it's going to be really excited, exciting. And everyone deserves the desire to hear about this opportunity. Every single person. And if they say no, follow up. If they say no again, follow up. If they say no again, follow up. If they say no again, follow up. I'm not kidding, it has to be between eight and 12 times, okay? So we've all heard the power of three. If you have not watched the video by Sheila Medina, power of three, write it down. That is a must watch like tonight when we jump off the call. Watch Sheila Medina's power of three. It is so inspiring and that's exactly what we're trying to do is just duplicate again, again, and again. So we all can improve when it comes to developing silvers. And for my friends who are newer on the call tonight, I am so excited for you because you're hearing exactly what it takes to go very, very quickly. It's just duplicating. It's sharing with others what this can do for them. And so I am so excited that you guys jumped on tonight. We have just an amazing month. We have half the month left to really create that ripple effect, to get those joins coming in, to make a difference in people's lives. Um, and it's, it's going to start with duplication, creating those silvers. So let's not shoot as a team for 10%. Let's shoot as a team for 30%. Like get in your back office and look, how many joins did you have last month and how many should be going silver? So that is all I have tonight. It's definitely, I think someone just said magical month. Um, it has been amazing. And so many of y'all are going to be ranking up. I mean, there's big, big things happening. So that is all I had to say tonight. I'm so sorry that I kept muting myself. <laughs> Problems with technology. Um, but anyways, that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed the call.